If you're watching this video, you're probably spending way too much money on your free agents. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jeff Guy here. Free agency is such a powerful tool in Madden 22 franchise. Today's video is going to go over how to make offers in franchise, how to save yourself some money on your teams, and how to change your strategy based on whether you're doing an online user franchise versus one against the CPU. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe, comment, do all the things. Every time I start with a new team, the first thing I review is team needs. I always ask myself which current players are actually in the long term plans for this team and which positions should I address first. We're using the Raiders in today's video and really the only guy on offense that I'm going to plan to build around is Darren Waller. And on defense, I'm thinking about building around uh, Max Crosby because he's a superstar, uh, Devine Diablo because he's a 91 speed linebacker. And then Morig and Gillespie are both pretty good options at safety. So really on offense, it's a complete teardown and rebuild. And on defense, we have some pieces but need to build strong. Now, before we go into offers, we actually need cap space to make some of these offers happen. And to make our money go as far as we can, we need more of it. So we're actually going to go down to the manage roster menu and hit team salaries. This is how we track all the money we're spending and how much actual cap room we have for our free agents. Right now, we don't have a cap penalty, which is great, and we have $73 million in cap. That's going to allow us to do a lot of things in free agency, but let's see how we can improve that. When I'm looking at who I'm going to cut, I look at the following four columns. I look at savings, cap penalty, age, and overall. Savings is pretty easy. It just tells you how much cap room you're going to save by cutting a player. Now, I compare this with the penalty to see how much money I'm actually saving and how much I'm getting uh, by cutting this player. Derek Carr, I'm going to save almost $20 million by cutting him. And because he's already 31 and in Madden, he's not going to progress anymore. I'm cutting him right away. I'm also going to cut Colton Miller because he's an 82-26. He's not worth $16.8 million to my team. Yannick Ngakwe is another guy who's gone. Now we've reached the point of evaluating which players we need to cut and prioritizing them. Corey Littleton will save us almost 12 million cap, but will cause us a $4 million cap hit. So we want to be careful about cutting him. We're actually going to go to the player release page now and see all of these players who have a zero penalty for releasing. If they don't matter to us, we can cut them right away. We'll replace them with better guys in free agency. I think Darren Waller is the only one we'll keep out of the zero penalty, but there's about 35 guys in here. We're just going to cut right away. So now that we've gone through and cut everyone we can cut from that zero list, uh, these guys are still hanging out because they're hurt or their name's Darren Waller. Uh, right now we're at 131 million in cap space, which is up 60 million from where we were earlier. That's a lot of room to work with. The next thing I'll do is go over to age and see if there's anyone to cut on that list. Um, these guys all have zero contracts, so they'll be free agents at the end of like next week. Um, so no big deal on any of them. Uh, I'll probably cut... Uh, Carl Nassib, save like another 6.4 there. Uh, Kiwatowski will save me about 7 mil. So I'll go through and cut some of these more guys. Now that we've gone through that list, we're actually up to 151 mil, but now our cap penalty is 10.7. So I just want to be cautious there. Next thing we're going to do is just go through overall and see if there's anyone really bad at the bottom here that we can cut. Hopefully they're not injured and we can just cut them and clear up more cap space. Now that we've cut all those guys, we're at 152 mil, 11.7 cap hit. We're in great shape here. I'll typically then just go through and see if there's any bad contracts, but the Raiders are in pretty good shape. I probably wouldn't be paying my kicker and punter this much, but uh, stinks. We can't do anything about that right now. And then a lot of young guys or guys we plan to build around um, or guys that just like it doesn't make enough sense to cut them right now but we can do later. Um, so right now, I think we're in good shape, just waiting on a couple guys to actually not be injured so we can eventually cut them and we'll be good. Now, here we are in free agency. We have 21 players out of a potential 75 we can roster. Let's take a look at the team and just see how bad it's looking. Uh, it's gonna look pretty bad. We probably don't have a quarterback. We have one running back, a couple linemen. We have to fill out a lot of positions here. Yeah, Carlson's starting. We have two wide receivers, two running backs. 
uh, a full offensive line, two tight ends, and then defense isn't looking much better. We have a lot of holes to fill. And a final note before we get into the actual offers, you can build your team around the draft. I find it's less efficient to build through the draft, and I rather build through free agency because I'd rather sign guys that I know can play rather than taking shots on unproven rookies. The Madden draft system isn't always accurate, and you're not always going to get a great player, and you might get stuck with a big contract for a guy you don't necessarily want. Our system gets us guys we want at prices we want at for the years we want them. So I definitely prefer free agency over the draft, but if you want to draft players... Nothing wrong with that. It's always a nice bonus when you have a guy who can play, but then you draft a guy who's even better. Now, we've made it to free agency. We've made it to the screen. We have $152 million in cap. We can kind of go off here. Every offer you make earns a certain number of points in Madden based on the length, the salary, the signing bonus, and your team prestige. These offers are bulked into red, orange, yellow, and green. Your offer needs to be 71 points in order to get green interest from a free agent. Different factors are going to affect different players differently. For example, younger players probably want more years on their contract, while those older established veterans want those dollar dollar bills, y'all. To show an example here, let's make a green offer on all the guys we want and see how much salary cap we have left. I just made a base offer on 21 players that I think are going to help fill out my roster. Each of these offers came in around 90, 92 points, and right now we have $15.9 million in cap left. Let me go through and show you all the players I am currently negotiating with. These are guys that are either going to be plug and plays for us or future studs based on speed, age, all those factors that we've gone over in previous videos. Now I'm going to alter all of these offers to be exactly 71 points. Let's see how much money we save. And look at that. All of these guys still have green offers, and instead of 15.6 million in cap, we now have 43.1. I chose free agents that I'm the only bidder on, so I'm gonna get all these guys no matter what. And now I have the money to go after some guys that are absolute studs. If I wanted to grab Devontae Adams, I can compete for him. If I wanted to go for Teron Amstead, even though I don't want to, I could go compete for him. There are tons of other guys that we can try to compete for and try to get on our team now that we have the salary cap to do so. We're still spending like $110 million on 21 players. But if you think about that, that's $121 million on 10, or 21 players. That's less than 10 mil per player. And you're getting guys like, like Will Fuller is a great option at wide receiver. Dante Jackson's one of the best corners in the game. Chris Godwin superstar receiver still pretty young and then we have all these guys down here Ruben Foster Quan can all play Shaquem Perry Nickerson Apke Huntley and Wiggins all those guys can absolutely play and are going to be really really strong on our team this is even more impactful in online CFMs if you can pay less for your base players you're going to be able to get some of the high value guys for example, in an online CFM, more than one team is going to want Devontae Adams. The Texans won't be the only guys bidding. And that bidding war is going to get really expensive. I've seen some guys like DK Metcalf and superstar Legereus Sneed go for up to $200 to $280 million in free agency. Because those guys are worth it in Madden franchise. And if you have the money to spend, you need to get the top tier talent to compete for Super Bowls. Now look at where this team's at. We have two really young, inexpensive, athletic quarterbacks. We have two cheap, really fast wide receivers. We have a cheap offensive line that's going to get the job done for us while we look to spend more money on our offensive line. Then we have a superstar X-Factor tight end who's already on the roster. We kept him. And then we built this defense up to be solid in the interior. Decent over the top with Devin Diablo probably going to be our user or at least our sub linebacker. And then we have Apke, Mullen, Nickerson in the backfield. We actually didn't get a cut. We didn't get Dante Jackson, and I wound up withdrawing a couple offers, so we are missing some guys. Um, but then we have Morig, Wiggins, and Abram in the defensive secondary, along with Gillespie, who's another good option. This team is so much stronger than it was just a couple minutes ago, and now we have so much salary. But we still have like sixty-five million left to play with. So whether we want to sign or trade for a big player, 
We can do that. We can also continue to develop in the draft. And then we can look to next year's free agency as well when there's better, younger, more superstar players that we want to go after. So Dante Jackson actually didn't accept his offer. I was kind of curious on what's going on there. We have 70 mil in cap ready to go. And you see we spent all of our bonus money in available funds. We don't really care about that. We see the Broncos came up with a competitive offer. And that green bar says that they spent a lot of points. But we don't really know comparatively how much they spent. So we need to figure that out. So here was my initial offer to Dante Jackson. Three years, $3.6 million for $4 million in signing bonus. That's a total of 228 This offer is 71 points exactly, which is exactly what we need for a green offer. Let's see where his interest is. He does not like the salary. 10 points is far too low. We're looking for between 20 and 30 in that range there. Bonus is great. 29 points is awesome. We're looking for anything over 17 there. 23 points for length is perfect. That's ideal. What we ideally what we want. And then he doesn't like our team. Our team prestige isn't high. The Raiders apparently, for some reason, aren't one of the more historic franchises or the ones he wants to play for. That's why other teams like like the Patriots or the Cowboys can do really well in free agency because they have that team prestige. So we need to make up for the lack of team prestige with more money. Right now we're competing with the Denver Broncos for him, so we need to outbid them via points. The best way to do that based on our previous offer is to increase the salary. So we're going to, we have the money to spend and he's going to be a stud for us. We're going to go all the way up to 6 million. That brings us up from 71 to 95 points. And let's see if that works. So we need to go even higher, which is fine. That's fine. Um, We're going to go six and a half and we're going to see if we can increase the bonus a little bit. And I actually want to sign him to now a five-year deal because that's going to spread out the money. As you see, our cap room goes from 69 mil up to 70 it's going to spread the money out just a little bit better for us so five years fit 553 million 98 points as you can see the salary went to 36 points he's really happy about that 30 on the bonus 23 on the length and then still nine on prestige and that's going to get us even closer so we have to go even higher which is again for dante jackson this is a 96 speed corner This is a guy who's relatively young, who's going to be an absolute monster for your teams. You absolutely have to get him. So right now we're going to pay up and we're going to go all the way up to 8 million on the salary. We're going to go up to 4.6 on the bonus and let's see how that works. So bonus only went up three points. Salary went up another 15 points. So I think we should be in, in good shape to overtake the Broncos. And we've done that. Hopefully he signs that deal. We've outbid the Broncos and we've done all we can there. In terms of other guys, we don't really care about Okun or Quan, so we can we can let them walk. We don't really need them. And look at that. We wind up getting Dante Jackson, and that adds so much more to our secondary as we take another look. Our offense is going to be the same. We didn't sign anyone new, uh, but then we do get uh, Dante Jackson. It's going to be awesome. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bang. So Dante Jackson, Trayvon Mullen, Perry Nickerson, and Troy Apke All of them are 93 speed or above. I actually need to check Trayvon Mullins, but those are really, really great corners. We have great safeties. We have fast linebackers or linebacker in Devin Diablo. And then we have pass rushers who are going to, at the very minimum, stop the run and then get to the quarterback as well. This team's in great shape. We still have about 50 to $60 million in cap room. We have all of our draft picks and we have so much there's just so much potential with this team. I'm actually really excited to see it develop. If you want me to play with this team, comment down below, let me know. And hopefully this video helps you figure out a little bit more about free agency and how to attack different players, how to make those offers and how to compete online and offline.